You Are What You Eat is brought to you by Harvard Pilgrim Healthcare. With the warmer weather here now, it's time to light up the grill. But before you do, some tips on how to make barbecuing a little bit healthier. Joining us is Mark Mincola, a natural health care practitioner from Cohasset, Massachusetts. Nice to have you with us, Mark. Nice to be here. Thank you, Karen. Well, what do we need to be worried about as far as grilling? Well, first of all, you know, you consider the fact that half of Americans are grilling these days. That's an incredible number of folks that are out there grilling their dinners. But we do indeed have some really important issues. The National Institute of Health said, hey, we've done some studies, got to take this stuff real seriously. They've indicated that HCAs, these very powerful agents that are apparently very strong cancer causers, are the end result of high temperatures when mixed or combined with these animal meats. All right, so what are some of the healthy grilling tips? Well, we can take a look at that uh, half panel. We've got some real good ideas, I think six ideas. We first of all want to pre-cook meat, simple as that. We spend a little bit of time just basically uh, pre baking or broiling those meats or poaching those meats, that really sets up the process much more healthfully. Also, number two, we look at uh, marinating before. Uh, it's important to marinate. In some cases, you can marinate with, with wines. You can marinate with, uh, with lemons and oils and things like that. It doesn't require a fancy marinade. Also, you want to cover those with foil in some cases. Just get the tin foil on the grill and protect it from the conversion of some of these HCAs. Um, I think the key really here is, is that folks can take advantage of some of these tips, and I think that they'll prevent a very high proportionate number of these HCAs being conveyed. Also, we can see number four, rosemary and garlic. There's been some amazing studies. Uh, Kansas State University has indicated that you can cut the risk by as much as 30 to 100 percent by simply spicing your meats with rosemary. That's an interesting one, spicing your meat with rosemary. Indeed. And